Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. After another long hiatus, I'm back with a fusion pasta recipe, laksa risotto. In this video, I not only show you how to make the laksa risotto, but also how to make a shrimp broth. Before we get into it, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. You can watch my videos with English and Chinese subtitles, just tap them on screen. And if you want more bilingual recipes, follow me on Instagram at chefflora6 or check out the link in the description box below. The ingredients required for this recipe is on screen or check them out on my Instagram for a more detailed version. I will first go through how to make the shrimp broth, then the preparation required to make the laksa risotto before going into cooking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe! Let's go ahead and remove the shells and devein the shrimps. They will be used in the shrimp broth and the laksa risotto itself. Make sure you keep all the shells and heads of the shrimp. I purposely left the head and tails on a couple of shrimps for plating. Add a spoonful of salt into the shrimps and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. This helps remove the slimy texture and a nasty seafood flavor in a shrimp. Then, we can get started with the shrimp broth. There is a lot of flavor in the shrimp shells and shrimp heads, so that's what we're going to use. To keep things simple, I'm only going to add shallots in my broth, but you can choose to add other herbs and aromatics like parsley as well. Shrimp broth can actually be used in a, lo a lot of other dishes like paella, soup noodles, bisque, gumbo, and risotto. You can amend depending on what you want. Heat up a pan with oil and add the shrimp shells. Then add a splash of wine. Let the wine cook and ev evaporate and then add in some water. Let it boil for at least 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes is up, do a taste test and check how much flavor you got. If it's getting really fragrant, you're ready for the next step. Because there is so much flavor in the shrimp shells and shrimp heads, I would blend the shells so that we're not wasting any of the scrumptiousness. Stick in an immersion blender and blend everything up very finely. You'll then want to strain it twice to make sure we don't get an extra crunch when we eat. we go into the preparation for the laksa risotto. After letting the shrimp sit for 10 minutes, you'll see a lot of water forming. Pour that all out, that's where all the yucky flavor comes from. Chop up some of the shrimps into bite-sized pieces to mix into the risotto. I personally like it better if I can taste both the risotto and the shrimp at the same time. Next up, soak the dried mushrooms to rehydrate them and chop them up. I think using dried mushrooms enhances the flavor, but if you can't find them, it's fine. It's not a must. Make sure you don't pour the mushroom water away after soaking. You can use that to cook the risotto as well. Dice up some parsley finely. This will be used for both garnishing and to add an extra kick of flavor in the end. You'll also want to dice up some onions as well. Last step, dice up several cloves of garlic finely. Now, we're ready to start cooking. First up, we'll want to heat the laksa paste up. Just by frying it in advance gives it so much more flavor. You can add the garlic and onion in once it starts bubbling. When choosing laksa paste, try to find one that has laksa leaves in it. This is an important ingredient for good laksa paste. 
For the Luxa paste that I used, it came with a pack of coconut powder, which is why I added some broth in to mix it up in the end. But if yours doesn't, omit the step. Once the paste is done, set it aside and we can start on risotto. I seared the shrimps that I'll be placing on the top first. Once that's done, set it aside and pan fry the bite-sized shrimps. Remove the shrimps from heat. You'll use it afterwards. With the same pan, add oil then add the risotto in to toast it. When you see the edges of the risotto turning slightly translucent, then add in some white wine. If you want to skip the white wine, that's perfectly fine as well. Just use water or the shrimp broth. Cooking risotto takes some time and a lot of patience. Be prepared to stand next to the stove for at least 25 minutes. Grab a glass of wine while you cook, it'll be all worth it in the end. Once all the wine evaporates, you'll want to start adding different, the different liquids, like the shrimp broth and the mushroom water. Be patient and add it in bit by bit. Let the rice absorb it all before adding another round. That's the trick to cooking risotto. After several rounds of liquids, you can now add the laksa paste in to mix it all up. Continue adding the liquids and then the rest of the ingredients. I've added in the mushrooms earlier since I like softer mushrooms, but if you don't, add it in towards the end. Another trick to cooking risotto is to stir every 30 seconds. Stirring it helps getting the starch out and that's how you can make it really creamy. To make it more flavorful, I've added in coconut milk as well. It does help getting that laksa flavor out. Now that it's almost ready, add your shrimp in and mix it all up. You can also add the parsley in after removing from heat. Ta-da! Finally grate some cheese on the risotto and you're done. This is best eaten hot. The risotto will continue to cook after removing from heat, so make sure you dig in right away. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. If you want to see more of my recipes and food adventures from me, please do hit that subscribe button and click that bell. That would mean so much to me. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'll see you next time.